In this walkthrough, I'm going to explain to you how to use Komodo Edit to create a new project to lump your files together and to save the files automatically to a remote server and then to actually test it using Komodo Edit itself. So we start off by using the project menu and choosing new project. I'm going to save the project file itself to the local machine. I'm going to call this project Hello World and save it to the desktop. And as you can see, there it is on the desktop as a Komodo edit as a project file. It's also automatically opened this left hand panel. At the bottom, you can see my project. At the top, you can see the files associated with that particular project. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on the project and add a remote folder. And I'm going to connect to my server. I did a little walkthrough before showing you how to do that. I'm going to my public HTML folder and I'll create a new folder in here called Hello World. I'm going to select that particular folder and there's my folder just there. So I've now got a folder associated with my particular project. I'm now going to add a file to that project and show you how to create a new page and test it directly on the server. So I'm going to go to File, New, a new file. I'm going to click the button here instead and I'm going to save that file save as other remote file and as you can see it's opened me directly into my public html folder i'll go into hello world and i'll save this one as index.html and i can now create my file <coughs> when i click on save it will save it directly onto the server When I click on save, it will save it straight off back onto the server. And now if I double click on that folder, you can see in the places pane at the top, it shows me that index.html folder file in the remote server. And in the bar at the top, you can see the full path to that particular file. And at the moment, if I test it <coughs> by going to View Browser Preview. I'm going to preview it in the Komodo tab. And if I, if I select it and click on Preview, it's actually showing the file path to a temporary file. What I want to do is actually load the file through the Apache web server. So I'm going to go to my Project and Properties. And I'm going to, to map a URI for this particular project. So my URI, which is going to be then I put my folder path in, my username, then because I've created a folder in my web root, I've got to put the folder name in. And then it's going to be index.html maps to the remote file and I open my creative server. In fact, I don't even need to put the name of the file at the, uh, file at the end there because it'll automatically work it out for me.
and click on OK. And the final step is to preview it using the built-in Komodo Edit Browser. And to do that, <coughs> I'm going to go to View, Browser Preview. I'm going to preview with another file or URI, URL. And it's already filled it in with the settings I put in my project. Preview using the Komodo tab. And I could tick remember this selection for this file once I know it works. When I click on preview, you can see the page is also displayed, but you can see in the URL it has the correct path to the server. And this is very important when you start doing things like PHP files where you have to run it through an Apache server.